What's up guys, John here from Techspace and today we are going to do part 2 of the XMAX hop up and upgrade videos. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys. Everything that we will be using in this video to upgrade the XMAX will be linked in the description down below. And if you are new here guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. And also like the video if you do end up liking it. And also make sure that you hit that notification button so you do not miss out on the future uploads of our four part series for the XMAX upgrades and hop ups video series. Alright guys, so today as part two of the upgrade or hop ups for the X-Max we are going to do the aluminium shock caps as well as the body. I just cannot wait to get the body off guys to put the orange one on get this green one that's a little bit beat up off of it. I'm really looking forward to it doing a sticker kit on it as well and yeah so today is going to be a very simple video guys but it's part of the journey of getting this X-Max to where I want it to be. Alright guys so let's start this thing. What I just want to say is guys in the previous video for those of you who has missed what we've done we have installed four different colored A-arms, lower A-arms with RPM hinge pins again for the lower part of the A-arm closer to the wheel. I'm just going to show you guys this for those of you who miss it. So this is what we've done guys. We've put different colored A-arms on. Again, if you want to see that video and how it was done, it will be linked down in the description below as well if you want to go back and restart watching the series from video number one. All right, so let's get this old body off or the older body. I can't say it's old. I just bought this thing in May. All right, guys, so there's the green. Look how awesome my X-Max still looks on the inside. The weather in New Zealand is currently very bad guys, so I'm doing all of these internal videos. It's just pissing with rain the whole time and it's really annoying, but I mean, it's winter, what can we say? Alright, so let's get the aluminium shock caps first. Now that is these bad boys. It's the official Traxxas GTX shock caps guys. They are going to replace the plastic ones that you can see here at the top of the shocks, here in the shock towers. Alright guys, so the green will go with the green shocks. My trusty old Ryobi battery operated screwdriver just to get the hinge pins out of the shock towers that connects to the shocks. Let's open this box up first. Ooh, some nice packaging there. Alright guys, so there they are. Genuine Traxxas products. Fantastic. Okay, let's get them out. And there they are guys, nice and hefty, CNC machine probably, very nice. Let's get away with this packaging. Again guys, my AliExpress little magnetic screw and metal holder for things that I take off of my RC cars. This is very nice and it's dirt cheap guys from AliExpress. It will be linked down in the description below as well. These are really nice guys, high quality magnetic really nice we're going to need to use a h2 for this right let's get the hinge pin out got my trusty old pliers okay hinge pin is out so now we're going to take the shock off oh the shock is already off <laughs> Right guys, so yeah, I'm just going to unscrew it. Luckily I didn't do any bashing lately guys because of the poor weather. Oh, that's awesome guys. So this just looks like a fit in fit out type of thing. Could it be that easy? Right guys, so the first one is off. Right guys, I'm thread locker. And tighten the back. Right guys, the first one is on. Right, 
Right, second one done. Just going to change the camera angle now, guys, so you guys can see what I'm doing. So remove the 8mm screw, push the hinge pin out, I'm just loading the shock coil guys, the spring coil, so I can have some grip on the actual aluminium shock part so I can loosen the top okay guys and it's off and there you can see is the little seal that keeps the oil inside right so let's cover that up right so this is quite a tricky part guys because you need to get these little small pieces of plastic inside here as the spaces between the actual shock cap and the bodywork I've been lucky so far let's see if the luck can continue no can't <laughs> damn you you bastardo alright let's get the hinge pin It is in. Just a little bit of maneuvering, guys. Some lock tight. A little bit too much. And put the screw back in. Remember to tighten that last bit by hand. Just to make sure you don't over tighten it and strip the screws. Let's do the other side, the last one. Right, the last two little spaces. Gonna go on this side of the table. Look how small these things are. I can't believe it's been going so well so far. To all the doubters, doubters, to those who right, they in. I must say that little small spaces definitely go in much easier than it should actually go in to be honest so the force aluminium shock caps has been installed what do you guys think i think it looks fantastic guys you won't be able to see it from there there you go oh Alright guys, so the aluminium shock caps have been installed into the shock towers and they really look nice. What do you guys think about that? So, just a quick one. So that's what we've done so far is the four A-arms and the RPM lower hinge pins, which you guys can't see because it's behind the tires. And now we've installed the aluminium shock caps as well. What do you guys think? Oh, it's beauty. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the body and we are going to put the stickers on. So, I'm just going to take the truck off for now and I'm going to get the body closer to do that. Alright guys, and there's the orange. What do you guys think? Do you like the green or the orange more? Anyway, let's quickly start putting the stickers on. And I'm going to start with the most important ones for me, which is the Tech Space logo. But 
Right guys, the two tech space stickers is on. Right, so let's do the rest. With the Traxxas decal sheet that came with the body. Right guys, what I like about this body is it's got the, the roof protectors already installed. I'm not too sure how the EXO cage is going to look or even fit with this on, but I'll make it fit. <laughs> I finished putting the stickers on the body. I didn't add many extras onto the body just because I just think there's uh, enough at this stage for what I want to achieve with my look. So I just put the grill ones, obviously, the one um, that they indicate to you on the sticker kit to put on these front ones and then obviously the tech space ones and then I just put one Traxxas one at the back. All right, so I didn't over stick it and I think it looks awesome. So let's put it onto the X-Max. And what do you guys think? I think it looks absolutely flippin' awesome. So what do you think? Hey? Yes. <laughs> I love the orange guys. I think it looks awesome with the green. Makes nuts on the wheels. I'm impressed. Okay guys, so that is part two of the video series for the X-Max done. Now, important thing to remember is to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to be in the drawing to win that 1000 subscriber RC Monster Truck, which is this one guys, it's brushless, it's four wheel drive and it's just a little beast. All right guys, so yes, as soon as I reach 1000 subscribers, I'm giving one of these away to a lucky subscriber. You give me the address if you're the winner and I send it to you. It's that simple. If you have not done so already guys, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if you liked it. And also comment down below to let me know what you think about part two of the video series of what we have so far done in this upgrades and hop ups video series for the X-Max. Awesome guys, I'm Jonder from Techspace and bash on. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.